guys and welcome back to another video yes so i've been popping these videos like skills now as in like i'm working any free time i have now i'm trying to get videos done so yeah and it's it's making me feel good as well because hopefully i can get to connect with some people You'll probably see the corner of it here black friday was like a couple days ago two days ago and uh, i was a bit naughty i did purchase a few things here and there some of them came today one of the things that i actually want to jump on camera and kind of review is the book of magic um eyeshadow palette by beauty bay so with this palette i was skeptical i've been back i've been going back and forth about it for the past like two months when it did actually come out and i wasn't sure if i should get it because the way it was released and the whole theme and the whole halloween situation <laughs> Mm, I wasn't feeling it and even some of the names in this palette oh. um today I thought okay it's in the post I've seen so many reviews on it and I thought I'd jump on camera and uh show you how this looks on me see there's a lot of videos out there with people that have obviously gone through it and uh I wanted to do it as well why not this is the packaging, the outer packaging. It has a uh, message at the back for you guys to read. Obviously, if you do have the palette already, then you already know what it says if you decided to read it. But I won't be reading it on this occasion. When you go into the box, you have the bubble wrap, which is good. So it means it's protected. That's what we want. We don't know broken shadows up in here. And once you get it out of the sleeve, <laughs> It has the same message at the back as it did on the outer packaging. And obviously the front has its um, the Beauty Bay um, design logo. And it has all the things, I assume, like symbols and stuff related to the theme of the palette. So as we open it up, we do have a mirror. And here, once the sleeve drops, is the palette. So as you can see beautiful colors um that i'm quite very very interested in going through it's kind of more like a bluey purple kind of palette with some nice shimmers to kind of like top up um top up your looks and stuff so um yes this is what we'll be going through today I thought it was quite nifty to have um my house coach that goes to it my room hmm. color kind of inspired kind of look so yeah i love the fact that it's got a huge mirror here because i actually need to get an, a new mirror be perfect one the love to heat one it's been getting a lot of air time need to get a new mirror up in here should have been one of the things i did i should have bought i've already done my brows as you can see hence why the halo situation the ghostly ghastly eyebrows I'm going to jump right into a eyeshadow look I'm going to be priming with Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, which is this one here. Um, this is just a smaller, the smaller version because I wanted to try it out to see how how easy for me is to use. Because I tried the P. Louise one, a work in progress. I tried to be perfect one, still a work in progress. But this one, when I used it yesterday, it didn't feel wet. It didn't. It just sat. It just and allowed me to do what I needed to do. And that's what you want from a base. I shall be getting the bigger size of this. So let's get into priming our lids. Put a bit here, here. So I thought I'd check in with you guys and um, ask what you guys bought during the sale. It lied to me because the thing is, I didn't want to go hard and heavy, but you just, you just never, you just never know. Yes, let's just prime these lids and stop talking. that is all done i really love this base it sets so quickly and it gets tacky so that you can start applying your shadows into the palettes oh another thing i bought so i decided to go on the morphe palette because it keeps throwing this 20 percent situation at me it's sending me emails like every two hours because of morphe you have an obsession with brushes and i don't like that i bought a new brush set it's not new but it's kind of new i assume it's limited edition one of the gold ones so these are the brushes that i just purchased what we're gonna do apart from this uh silicone thing i don't know what the hell that is that is really weird um we're gonna use these brushes today 
cheese of B2A palette. Okay, nice and fresh. What we're going to do. I really want to go into like a bluey kind of purpley situation. I think we'll go into a we'll start off with purple. The thing to do is actually go in with the lighter transition first before going in with the darkest because this is not a pressed pigment palette, this is a normal eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I think this is it doesn't say from the reviews that I've seen as well. I think that it's best to go in with the transition first and then work our way into the darker colours back in the day, like how we used to do it. Rather than using this brush, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go into a fluffier brush. Use this one here. Let's go into am amulet. So what the hell that means? This color here. Just gonna dab that. It's a, it's a, it's a big man. It's a, it's a big man. And kick out in the palette. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh, I'm creasing. So let's go into this type of the excess just on a be able to control. Okay. I actually can see it. It matches. That's what I actually wanted to match the top of my brow. So I just wanted to go into my brow bone, set the colour that I actually had, and actually the colour matches really well. Okay, so far so good. I like this colour. I'm here for the pigment. The pigment is really there. Got that done. You can now forget about that. So I'm going to use my color changer, switcher thing. We're going to go into sorcery, which is this color right here. And then we're going to go into using a fluffier brush, which is this one right here. I'm going to get this in our crease as now we want the transition. What I'm going to do is going to start in like halfway in my crease and then buff it out because I'm thinking of using Enchanted, which is this color here, to kind of blend that out, if that makes sense. A lot, a lot of pigment and there's a bit of kickback as well. So, and it felt, it felt really smooth, but let's just, oh wow, oh, oh wow. Okay, okay. Wasn't expecting that. See, I've bought a Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette before. I didn't really like it. But this one, what is with all these people in the damn cars? Like, stay home. But yeah, um, so we're just using this to create the shape to be honest. I thought I was just gonna use it in the crease, but let's just let's just let's just go with it. I like it. Ooh, we're gonna have a purple moment y'all this color i don't even know how to explain it it's beautiful maybe i should zoom you guys in just just a tip, just a tip. okay that's, that's a bit much jesus as long as you can't see my brain we're all good as long as you can't see my credit card details my bank accounts you also all good the fact that my bank came from my bills going into that color can you see how beautiful that color is so we want to now blend the outer part of this shade now i'm going to go into the uh slightly pointy kind of brush to now use the shade enchanted which is this one here so what we want to do is just kind of like oh look at that mm, sort of a pastel-y purple kind of color so what we're going to use is this brush to tickle the ends to basically blend out the ends i don't have any technical terms with what i'm doing but you understand what i'm doing <laughs> in with Oh, okay, I didn't expect it to be that light. We're just gonna feather that in. Okay. I'm thinking, maybe, oh, this is, this is, this is nice. I'm thinking maybe I go into a bigger brush so that this color 
because I feel like <laughs> it's like I have to lightly go in because there's a lot there's a bit of fallout from that shade so let's just let's just let's just continue a bigger brush let me just use one that is not from the thing because i just want to use another color for that so i'm just going to go into a bigger brush this is one of the morphe jh35 brush so i'm just going to go back into that oh that enchanted color and just buff it out now because i should have used the lighter one first i didn't think i was going to use this color but i'm liking it but there's a little bit of a a separation here it's probably from the um base that i use the primer but we'll sort that out so we're just going into that top brow color that we used before bringing it down into that one there and then we're going to go back into our previous color which was sorcery and bring that pigment back you see how easy that is just to bring it back and then we're gonna raise it up and blend it into that color and if i'm right it should be doing what i want it to do yeah. i love this color go back into enchanted which was that light um purple color and then we're just going to buff out the edges of this side. So I'm just going to continue blending until I get to the point where I'm happy. So as you can see, I've um, gone in and tried to blend it as much as I can. And it looks okay. It looks, it looks okay to me so we're going to use that same brush actually maybe not because we might want to go back into sorcery let's get another brush so the color that we're going to go into now is the color voodoo which is this one right here and what we're going to do though is go into the crease with this so what i'm trying to do is deepen this area here and then blow it out so that's where we're going so i'm going to tap into voodoo with this brush this is the jh40 morphe and jacqueline hill brush it's, it's um part of the pack that i use with the other fluffy brush that i use so tap that off just so we can get a bit of control of this color because we don't know how pigment she is we are back after blending so my arm almost came off um back into sorcery voodoo i actually picked up a bit of enchanted because i felt like the blend of sorcery and voodoo was getting a bit too close to the brow bone so i thought you know let, let me put a bit of enchanted so it can settle and chill okay but i want to get a bit deeper and i'm wondering whether i should go into hex which is like a black or do i go into um cursed which is this blue here so is that i going to blue or black but i'm thinking i'm going to start off with cursed to deepen this part here and then if anything i'll go into hex i'm going to grab another brush the brush is in a set not consistent they're not they're, mm -mm. so i'm going to go into cursed which is this one here oh and there is pigment so we're going to place that here. Oh, up. I don't know if this was a bad move. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. So what I'm going to do is just get that. That's not bad. Ooh. It's not bad at all, to be honest. It really isn't. I like where I'm going with this so slightly. I just want to go too much. I'm still going to use hex though, don't get me wrong. But this will be very nice when using the glitter pigments. You're going to see where I'm going with this.
because I'm going to go and cut my crease off camera and I'll get back to you and we can start working with the glitters. Back. Crease cut and ready for action. So what I did use to cut my crease today, I used the um, P. Louise um, Fresh Ink Rewhite Base to cut my crease because I really want the, I know the shimmers are going to pop, but I wanted a very blank base to make sure that the glitters, the colours, everything kind of stands out. We did lose a bit of um, transition here. May go into that at some point. If not, we're just going to leave it as it is. Um, but yes, so I need to get into cleaning up these edges before we get any harsh lines. So I'm going to go back into that voodoo. Just before we go into the shimmers, I'm actually going to, should we say, is it tight lines? A bit here, just to kind of bring back this voodoo shade. Now we can go into Cursed again, which is the blue here. Half and half, so over the voodoo color slash base. So Same time, I'm trying not to let my base crease up. So if I'm not looking up, I do apologize. Okay, trust the process. It looks a bit crazy, but trust the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've done with that. I'm thinking. I just want to tickle a little light blue, just a little bit. I'm gonna go into this shade here called Elixir. Again, I'm using the same brush because no point in me changing right now. I'm gonna use it to just tickle edges Ooh, okay maybe that's a bit too much I think, I think, I think, I think, I think it works it works okay so what we're gonna go into now is the shimmers just use this packer brush so the color I'm thinking to go in if there's enough space first is this color here, which might be a bit too deep, or this one here. So I think we're gonna go into the potion. I think that's the best, the best way to go. Press it in. That's the pigment there. Really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Gonna start packing. Oh yeah. Packing that color just halfway into the lid. very smooth and now we're gonna go into i mean it's it's only right we're gonna go into charmed which is this color right here i'm just gonna use the other side of that brush that we used to put on potion okay I am gonna do is I'm gonna go into Moonlight. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use this Morphe M167 brush to go into the shade Moonlight, which is this one here. And we're gonna use that, stamp that ever so lightly on the blue in the middle here, just to give it a bit more brightness. Here's hoping. So we're just gonna pack a bit, just a bit. Oh, it's a bit putty-ish. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll try to get some of it, but let's see how it goes. Okay, I think you can see what I'm trying to do. But it's just not coming. Let me use my finger. Ooh. Oh, that's so soft. Okay, I'm going to just use my... Look, let me use my finger. Almost like foily, and it's so smooth. Oh, 
but I think you guys know what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to use a brush to kind of go over the two where they meet and here as well. Go back into Charmed which was the light violet purple shimmer sweater. That bright blue was just not cutting it. Okay, final colour, I promise. I'm going to use that same brush again. Do not come from your comments about using the same brushes over and over again. But I'm going to do it anyway. Now we're going to go into Hex, which is this bad boy here. And try and deepen the outer corner. So I'm back with the final look. This is what I came up with just to tie everything together. Um, for under the waterline, I just used a normal black gel liner and I went into the colours Voodoo and Sorcery just to kind of tie up the look. And I used a bit of Hex just to kind of bring out the the, the corners to, to merge into the top. And I also used, as you can see, um, the MAC and Tiana Taylor lip pencil in Cyberworld. And I also used the MAC powder kiss liquid lip color in got a callback yeah so it kind of just tied everything together and the blusher that i used which was kind of deep just to kind of marry everything together was the um blusher by beauty bay called merlot and this is the color here and that's what i used for my cheeks and i also used trophy the highlighter just to kind of like highlight my higher points of the face but yes this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you guys kind of saw what I was trying to do here. But yes, um, I can't wait to use this palette again. It was actually okay. It's a nice shadow palette that I'm trying to get used to because I'm just used to pigment palettes. Um, Even though the P. Louise one wasn't a pigment palette. Anyway, scrap that. I actually enjoyed that I actually enjoyed using this palette and um, I can't wait to create more color stories with this palette I probably just go into something more bluey this time rather than a purpley only because of my robe but yes thank you for clicking on this video thank you for taking the time out to watch this video I hope you like hit the thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel because <laughs> need I say more mm -hmm. but yes thank you very much for your time and Check me out in my next video. Toodles. Love the way this came together. Really cute. And this lip thing is so soft. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning.